Say hello, Joseph. Hello. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hi, everyone. Um, and welcome to my Provent filter installed video. So the plan is to get the Provent filter installed in that location there and to replace this, this pipe here and get it fitted. Because this pipe is a bit loose. Okay, and that's what, it's because it's a bit loose. That's why we're replacing it. Yes, it's not to put the catch can in. So anyway, um, I have the kit ready and I'll bring you along for the, for, for the ride. Hope you enjoy it. Catch you later. Okay, here we go. First things first, remove that engine cover. Laying that wonderful inline five cylinder 3.2 liters bare for all to see. As you can see, I'm removing some of the clips from the pipes. It's pretty straightforward. You know, the only tool you need is a grip is just to get onto the clamps and then you loosen the pipe. Give it a wiggle and out it pops. And I'm gonna poke my finger in the pipe and see that. That is what we're trying to catch. This filter, and I am going to refer to it as a filter because it's got a filter element, uh, element? element in after all. Um, We'll try and remove that oil before it gets to the turbo into the intercooler where a lot of it goes and collects and then onto the valves and just caking and making a mess of it. The biggest problem was probably fitting that bracket as you can see me tightening there. It was so corroded I had to re-tap some of the holes but the holes was already there. Um, that bracket is perfectly lined up. And this bracket on the filter housing itself is quite an ingenious little design. Um, you can change the height and the orientation of the filter in relation to the bracket so that you can point it where you need it to point. Um, and it shows you on the instructions um, exactly what orientation that filter needs to be in. I had to play with it a bit, but yeah, in the end of the day, it popped in. And it sat nicely. You can see me rechecking the instructions. Yeah, imagine that. Reading the instructions. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, you'll see I've fitted the clear pipe to the bottom of the filter. You just feed that pipe um, through a hole. Um, find a convenient space for it to go. And then it'll poke out the bottom of the vehicle. The pipe is way too long. But it allows you to fit it where you need it to be. You cut it to size and then you fit the ball valve, valve and the ball valve to it. Um, allows you to then drain it whenever you need to. So yeah, I've fitted the the hose from the rocker cover to the filter itself. Um, that's secured by two uh, pipe clamps. Um, pretty straightforward again. Uh, there's no rocket science in this fitting to be honest um, you just whack it on I'm here going to test the clearance just to make sure that it's not too high and as you can see it sits there nicely and then pop the bonnet again happy days no fouling and it sits there nicely so there we go guys jobs complete as you can see this actually looks kind of OEM um, we'll now just see how it performs As you can see here, yeah, I fitted the drain over there and it's currently open, I'll just need to shut that. But, so it'll allow me to drain the oil easy enough and it's out of the way. Cool stuff. So thank you for taking the time coming to check out my video. I hope you've learned something and it'll be useful for you. Show your appreciation by hitting the like button. However, if you didn't like it, um, smash the dislike button twice. But please leave some constructive, constructive, constructive criticism in the comments below. And I will try and improve in my next video. Thank you. Hope you stay safe.